Hi everyone! Today I'm filming from a new location because I'm actually traveling. I just washed my hair and I couldn't find a hairdryer, so I thought it would be a good time to make a review of this product, which is the Osis Plus Heat Protection Spray for Flatliners. This product claims that it can protect the hair against flatliner heat up to 230 degrees Celsius or 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It is made by Schwarzkopf, if that's how you pronounce it. Schwarzkopf. Anyway, let's get into the review. I wanted to bring this product with me when I was traveling internationally last year, but unfortunately this product is flammable, so it's not allowed on flights. Okay, I'm going to give it a shake first. I am going to layer out my hair. I'm going to start with the back first. The baby hair is here at the back. I'm going to clip the balance up. Oh. Am I using too much? So I like to give it a bit of rub. Just smoothing it in. And this is the flat liner that I have preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. You can see the steam all coming up. Oh, I burnt my ear. It's looking like this, which I'm happy with. I do find it quite challenging to do the back of my head. I can't see. It's easier to do the sides. Let's start from this side first. Spring outwards. <laughs> this product has quite a funny smell to it. Although I'm having a blocked nose at the moment, I can still smell it. Uh, ooh. Like a burning smell. Toasting my hair. Oh no, I'm mixing everything up. Can you guys hear that sizzle? I'm not sure if my mic is picking up the sizzle. Oh, steamy. I'm just sectioning out the hair. It's a bit hard to see the back, so I hope I don't burn myself. So the instructions for this, it says apply this product to damp hair before blow drying or to dry hair prior to using hot tools. This is the second highest in terms of hold rating. The highest hold rating for this company is 4 and this product is a 3. The other thing that this product says because it's flammable is do not use near open flame or while smoking and avoid eye contact for external use only and in the event of adverse reaction, discontinue use and contact a physician immediately. This product is supposed to be not just a heat protector but it also protects against humidity. I'm now at a beach resort so my hair was really acting up yesterday so I decided to wash it and when I couldn't find a hair dryer, I thought this is a good chance to use this product. It's also supposed to smooth and reduce frizz, be long-lasting and non-sticky. Now let's see how it goes. Moving on. Okay, I'm gonna put this to one side, hopefully. Okay. And put this to one side so that I can bring the new my damp hair in. It's fortunate that I'm not in a rush. Even out everything. I'm gonna be doing bit by bit here. This might be too much for my hair, but I am to handle. Let's see. Let's see. 
I decided to buy this product to try because my hair is quite long and I feel that the ends are dry. Sometimes they split, so I thought, you know, I should protect it from heat. I haven't put any hair oils here, so right after the shower, I'm just putting that heat protectant spray and then I'm ironing my hair. Look at that steam, guys. And yes, my hair is pretty long at this point. I did get my hair rebonded last year, but my top section has already grown out. So my head hair is actually quite wavy already and can get quite unruly, especially near the beach where I am right now. Malaysia is an incredibly humid country, so if you tend to have frizzy hair, by the end of the day, you look like you really need a shower. And wash your hair again. Let's see how this product works. I'll update you guys at the end of the day how my hair looks. Okay, it's still a bit wet here, so I'm going to pull some back. <gasps> I forgot to apply the heat protector! Oh no! Okay, oops, oops. I'm just waiting for this to be over already, I guess. Okay, I'm definitely not doing this every day. This is way, way, way too much. Can I just do this whole section like this? Oh, this is taking so long. Probably should get closer to the root because my roots are the one, uh, ones that are really poofy. Can I not do this section? It feels a bit damp. The remaining section looks like this, I think. We can just move on. I'll never leave the room. I have one bit here that looks like it has not been properly done. Uh, yeah. Probably fell. So. I forgot to apply them spray okay <laughs> i'll just do it for the remaining part that i haven't sprayed can't keep forgetting oh my god i don't know whether it's safe to smell the fumes that come from this product because you know we're applying heat to it and it's coming out as vapor okay uh there's not that much hair left i could be wrong I don't know, okay, I, I think I've done two-thirds of my hair, I think. Oh no, this is a lot of hair, okay. You know, I don't know how people can do this every day. Oh, I forgot to spray, oh my goodness. Okay, uh, this is not working. I'm getting lazy, I'm getting lazy. Oh, God. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a pro at this. Oh god. Oh, my hair. It's looking like a disaster right now. This is definitely a lot of work. I don't even know if I'm doing this properly anymore. I guess I can do this. I've lost all system. There's no more system to straighten my hair. I try to spray the product outward so that I don't get any in my eye because I'm not supposed to. I'm gonna have to wash my hands really properly later. Oh, I got product everywhere. Really not good at managing this. It's definitely easier to get someone to do this for you. 
can see what a big mess I'm currently in. But I'm trying to see this to the end. I'm not give up. <gasps> ah, this is probably too much hair for one <sighs> go. I'm trying to get the root area done properly because that's where my hair tends to look messy. Wow, well, that's become of my hair. Oh no, I can see all the in-between hairs. You can see my natural hair coming out here and it's looking quite untidy. That's why I decided to do this long process and see if it can last me till the end of the day because yesterday when I went to the beach it got my hair looking really really frizzy is that ironing your hair when you have a lot of long hair it's definitely not for the faint of heart you know but oh I'm going to take a long break from the flat iron after this. If I did this every day, I think that this bottle will be finished in a, like a week or two. I'm definitely using a lot of product in one sitting. Just because my hair is so long. I've done most of it. I think two thirds done. Let's do this. Okay, I'm just clipping this hair that I've done so I don't mix it up anymore. For this half, I'm just giving up and I'm just gonna spray it all over like this. Let's see if there's any difference. See too. I'm just going through liberally and I'm just running my hands through because I really can't do I really can't do this section by section anymore this is too much work for me Hey guys, so this is how my hair looks after spending about an hour battling with the flat iron. I do hope that it stays this way because I spent a lot of time on my hair. <laughs> this was how my hair looked at the end of the day. I did go out and caught some sea breeze which I think puts this product to the test. I didn't do the perfect job earlier but I tried my best and you can see that there is a lot more frizz now as compared to how my hair looked earlier. If you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.